What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Kingdom! In a dumber kingdom you probably could not find. I I have tried to educate these individuals, I have tried so hard, but all they care about is unitards, shoulder pads, and bows. So, I just make it available. It's kind of like one of those things where, why create a prohibition on unitards, shoulder pads, and bows and arrows when that's what my society wants? I'm interested in maintaining my rule over these people, and so you know what? Bread and circuses all day long. Wow, there are a lot of archers over here. Like, there are holy shit quantities of archers over here. Oh, I only have one coin. That's depressing. That's weirdly depressing. I'll be like, oh man, my one coin doesn't go very far in this new and confusing and troubling world. Oh, you've got a coin? I'll take your coin. I think occasionally, like, the workers generate, like, one coin or something, or they watch. Ooh. Or they walk past other people who generated coins or something, and they just, like, magically have one of the ones that's left over. I don't know, because I find unlikely people all the time who have random coins with them, and I just don't know how to explain it. So then I just make shit up, and then I relay it on the internet, because that is how science is done. Go back to the left. I think we still just need to focus on recruitment for the most part. I think we still have magical laser arrows. Not totally positive on that front, but I think we do. And so I'm going to wait for whatever fight is going to happen to end over here. Obviously staying clear of this ridiculous landmine of a catapult. I was going to stay as far away from it as possible. I knew it was going to betray me. It was like, that's what you get for calling out my swastikas. These hubcaps are primo, champ. <laughs> oh, God. Where is this series and channel even going right now? Is that the last of you? You guys fired... All right, into the forest. We, I don't think he'll turn around. I think he's retreating because it's morning. And actually, that almost guarantees that on our leftmost flank, we probably won't ever get attacked by anything too large because by the time they get here, it's already morning, and so that basically dispels them and runs them off. Little bit troublesome, but, you know. Hire these little guys on up. Drop some coins up in here. Like, you know that the real benefit of this game is? This game has allowed me to disable sticky keys on every computer I have. Like, that has been the real 100% benefit of me playing this game, is it's just like, this has been just horrible for sticky keys. Sticky keys have taken a big hit. And it's because I tap the shift key all the time, because I don't necessarily want to run all the time. I don't know why I do it. It's mostly my fault, but I'm going to blame it on sticky keys, because sticky keys is dumb and I hate it. I don't really get what the point of sticky keys is. Like, what if your shift key breaks and it doesn't work anymore? Then you're just going to go to ease of access anyways and just do it the long way with the mouse. So, like, why not? I don't know. I just don't know anymore about you, Windows. I like to think I know, but I don't know. I try really hard to understand. Like, I look you in your eyes and I know you're sincere about the things that you're doing. But sometimes sincerity is not good enough, Windows. I don't want you to be for a tablet. I want you to be for a PC. And this bastardized thing that you did to me where you're half PC, half tablet is really sort of upsetting. I have problems with Windows 8. I can't stand it. I updated to it probably a couple of years ago, and I loved Windows 7. Don't get me wrong. Like, I, I didn't... I liked XP. I was okay with Vista once they hit it with Service Pack 1. And then, you know, I really liked Windows 7 because I think it took the best aspects of both of the previous... OS's, and then I updated to Windows 8 for some reason, and I have just regretted it ever since. I've been like, oh good, it tells me to tap on my screen all the time when I don't even have a touch screen. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's enjoyable. How about just develop two OS's, man? Like, you guys have like endless money anyways, just, just do it. Just do it. Just take a cue from Nike and do it. Do it tenderly. You know, you feel what I'm saying right now, Microsoft? I feel like we've been hitting a lot of topics here. Oh, really? The bow shrine wore out? Well, not for long. This bow shrine's about to go shrine. Don't you know shrine? There it is. So that's back up to its maximum allotment of three days. So I won't have to worry about that for at least a couple mo. I'm going to get this tower up and running right here. Working very, very slowly. The reason being is because last time I rushed a little bit too quickly. I still played very slowly compared to some of the people that I watched but it was still too fast for where we were going with the current thing that we were trying to accomplish. And so, you know, you just got to be careful in this game. Don't go too fast. That's the number one way that I get killed is that I get impatient and I start rushing my development and whatnot. I also think the towers are kind of pointless. I think the towers need to have some, like, added defense benefit or something. 
in order to make them worth building because right now there's really no reason not to just have a big mob of guys on the ground getting hit by my own catapult again. There's no reason not to just have like a giant mob of guys on the ground wiping stuff out. They might make it through the wall on this side. I'm not totally sure about it, but they might. And here comes the floaties. In addition, the towers make it easier for the floaty guys to steal your shit. Like, no joke, it makes it easier for the floaty guys to avoid your ire. And so... Ooh, that was the catapult shot of destiny right there. You guys need to stop hitting me with rocks. I am the king and I am supervising honorable battle right now. And you guys are not making it easy. But yeah, the towers... I don't know. I think the benefit of what you get out of the towers is somewhat limited by comparison to just leaving them behind the wall. Putting them on the tower makes them susceptible to being hit by rocks that the big muscular guys throw. It makes it easier for the floaty guys to snipe them off the tops. I actually, I think the towers need a little bit of balancing right now to make them more worth the amount of money that you spend on them. Because as they stand at the moment, you actually do a lot better if you skip the towers and you just don't use them at all. The only benefit the towers add is if they break through your outer walls, it gives you guys that are stationed, like, in the back lines, mandatorily, by comparison to them just staying on the front lines all the time, but realistically, that's not a concern very often so long as you hold down all of your responsibilities on the front, so, eh. I don't know. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to upgrade this and stop getting my freebie chest. I'm going to need knights at some point, but we're not near enough to the portal right now to where I feel like it's something I need to work on. You guys, how much gold do you have? Some? I don't need a lot. I mean, I really... You guys can have a ton of that shit, and I'm still not even going to need it. I'm just going to go back out into the forest and activate the shrine. Grab a couple more of the little guys from the huts over here. Recruitment gets very, very difficult the further into the game that you get. It's easier at the start, which is why I kind of decelerated our progress and I focused only on recruiting for a while when we first started out because I wanted to have like a big mob of soldiers before I did anything else. I don't think we've even been attacked on our eastern or our western front for a while. So if I'm really lucky... Oh, that doesn't really need a recharging right now. Well, I'm still going to do it anyways because I have too many coins and it feels like a good choice financially. Just when you have a surplus, you might as well spend it. I got a couple of... Oh, there's no way the guys way out there in that secondary village are going to make it. They are just too far out. Way too far out, man. At least we got the shrine patched up. That's a plus. I think it may be time to start going in on knights and stuff like that, but still... My recruitment is slow enough to where I wish people trickled into your city too as it got bigger. Like as a benefit for updating your castle, like your main area. If you got like a person a day or something that just trickles through, it'd help out. Because honestly with the way the map is arrayed, sometimes you end up with real shortages of things that you need versus things that you don't need. So oftentimes I find myself super cash rich, but I'm bottlenecked by the fact that I just can't get enough new peasants, you know. Like you can sit there all day long waiting for the tents to respawn, but they just don't. That's one of the main reasons, actually, that I'm rushing the Eastern Portal so quickly right now is because I want to wipe it on out and see if maybe there's an extra recruitment place past that because it's closer and it's easier to get to. I think those two should be able to grab bows over here without too many problems. I may send some of the hammer guys out in the forest to get repurposed as soldiers, too, because we don't need as many hammer guys as we have right now. So if I send them out in the forest to chop trees like at a bad hour, They'll basically get whomped on and they'll lose their tools and it'll force them to come back to town and equip new ones, basically. I'm just going to let them hold on to that real fast. I'll probably refill... Ah, I'm all out of stamina. I was going to sprint to the forest and tag up some trees so that they'd be ready to be chopped down. And I was actually going to do that hammer thing wherever I could, where necessary, but we'll do it today. Send as many hammer guys out into the forest as I can, considering nobody even stands here to, like, deal with the catapult anyways. The hammer guys would be cool if you could get one of them to stand next to the catapult the entire time. Like a fixture. Please don't turn around and shoot at the thing that's coming. Just keep running for the wall. It's your only hope. There you go. I don't think anything's actually coming from this direction tonight. So what I would prefer... Let's take the hammer guys out this way. Got that dude incoming. But I don't think I'm going to mess with him for right now. I just need to get the walls out nice and far. 
I'm hoping, so I've never tried this before. This is the first time I've actually applied this strategy. So my hope would be that once we get this far enough out, oh, I don't know. My hope would be that once we get this far enough out, they won't wander past the wall and attack the gate without me telling them to do so. Be a little bit risky. I may also have them work on the wall right here, I guess. I see no reason not to have somebody work on it, since it only takes a couple of guys to go over there and chop trees anyways. Well, I wanted you to do that last, but that's okay. Do what you're gonna do, homeboy. It's fine. I don't know if I should go for the knights right now. We're pretty close to the portal. I think I would wait for a big-ass attack, though, to the Eastern Wall. And on the day after the giant attack against the Eastern Wall, that's when I would send the knights out so that I know that we aren't running any risks right there with all the things that can go wrong once it starts belching trolls into our domicile. Come on, keep putting up the wall. Trying to spend money on things right now, because we have it. And if you don't spend it, they'll take it out of the budget for next year. And so there's always that spending flurry at the end of the fourth quarter, just so you can keep your budget up for the next year and inflate it. It is what it is. You gotta keep asses in seats and employees on paychecks. I get it. It's just that, you know, there's like an orgy of cash distribution at the end of the year in like every industry. There's like, ah, ah, surplus, spend it. Spend it. Spend it on things we don't need. It's fine. Nobody cares. Just spend it on stuff. It'll be okay, I promise. Alright, so since we got you guys out here, it looks like we got some more archers headed to the front. I accept that. Now might be the time, since we are very, very cash rich, to finally jump into the next tier. Because I don't even think we need the chess coins anymore. They're not even... A thing that factors into my spending any longer, so there we go. Finally got ourselves a bigger city. I think I gotta wait a minute before to let me update this, though. Oh, they gotta update the towers first. Shit, I don't want towers. No! Waste of archers! Thy name is towers. I need archers on the front, not archers in these weird towers that are all the way back past all of our walls. I will never upgrade you. I only want one archer on the tower, it's fine. Now can I update this, or do they have to build further out too? Okay, good. They don't have to build further out. I had my worries and concerns for a second. Guy's got a little bit of cash. As soon as the fight ends over here, I'm going to run out and try and recruit a couple more people. I'm going to throw them on bow duty, as always. However, if they aren't here shortly... Oh, there they are. Of course they're going to knock a coin out of me. It's what I deserve. I never learned my lesson. It's what I deserve. Alright, so there we go. And we got to hope that there's not a big siege guy behind these. Because that means that I can't run the line because I'll just sit back here and mess with my new recruits the whole time. Need him to get killed before he can go anywhere else. Let's run up in here, grab a couple more little guys. And once they join our force, we'll start thinking about how we want to get things done. So you two, you're in. And I guess you could interject like a pee joke right there, but I'm not going to because I'm way too mature for that sort of shit. There we go. I might be able to get out to these guys and get them to our base before the day ends. It's going to be really, really close, but it might be an accomplishment. It might happen. Come on. Almost there. I could really use four recruits today. That would be the best. Because that will replace the guys that went up the tower. Wait for the horse to get his energy back. They might make it in by the end of the day. I don't know. Most of this game is just running back and forth, which I think is kind of cray-cray to some people. They don't like it. But I find the game to be pleasurable. I think that ambiance is a big key, though. I think games that tend to procure, or at least at the bare minimum, games that tend to cultivate 
a bit of ambiance and like an aura of just kind of like relaxing or like whatever they're going after. If it's a horror game, if you can produce an environment that feels conducive to horror, go for it. Or if you want to make a game that's about relaxing and defending a kingdom, you want the whole thing to feel like it's part of the same package. The example that I would give is the sound effects all have to go with the game and so does the soundtrack. If you end up with a game like this where it's playing like Swedish death metal the entire time, I don't know, it changes the whole timbre of the game. It makes it odd. But they've really pulled things together in a way to where it feels relaxing yet still threatening in the way that Minecraft used to when you first started playing. I don't know. I like it. I haven't played Minecraft in a really, really long time now that I think about it. My account got hacked like a decade ago. And ever since the account got hacked, I just never got around to like getting back into it. Like they said I had to call Mojang or something and I was like, yeah, I can already tell how much of a miserable experience that's going to be. No, a thank you. Well, I really, really, really hope that those guys we hire make it back into town. If they don't, it's going to be a little bit troublesome. It looks like we lost somebody on the eastern front. What we lost him doing, I don't know, but I guess we'll sort it out for right now. Since our cash flow is good, let's go ahead and put up another tower. we got plenty of archers meandering on in to become a part of our infrastructure. I think our next goal... Did they burn down this wall over here or something? I don't see, like, general panic, chaos, destruction, and misery on this side. So I'm going to assume that things are okay for right now. What's that noise? You hear that? I hear a noise. I don't know. Gentlemen, I'm going to highly expect you to go back into town right about now. Oh. Apparently he's over here shooting the gate. Fantastic. That might work out in a weird way. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. We're about to get a big attack then if this occurs. Hopefully our archers all reroute themselves back to where they need to be. They've all got the bow buff, so they'll be hitting a little bit. The boba buff? A Boba Buff would be dope. I would like a Boba Buff. Why is Boba Fett so popular? You ever wonder that? Like, he in the original Star Wars, he was just like a background character. And yet he... I, I don't know. I always felt like it was because he's a gangster. Like, even, like, Darth... I'm sorry. Even Darth Vader had to, like, give him warnings. Darth Vader had to be like, No disintegrations. I'm on to your shit, Boba. I'm done with you, okay? I've hired you, like, nine times, and you just keep disintegrating fools. Like, even, he just got, he got called out on, I think people like that. It's the fact that he's defiant. He's the kind of dude to keep his head cocked to the side. Keep his hat on tilt. Hey, what's up, random archer that did not get back inside the gate by the time I told him to? It looks like the gate is non-functional, right? Nope. I was hoping that maybe I could just walk past it if it wasn't functioning. Go ahead and chop down the forest, too. I want to see what happens if we chop down the forest right next to the gate. I'm trying new things this time around. It takes you two hours to get back to this point. And so every time I get here, I try to, like, squash in as much experimentation as possible before, like, I end up dying and having to re-roll anyways. I think most of these guys should just dither over here throughout the day, I think. I don't know if those other guys on the left-hand flank ever quite, like, made it into town. I'm gonna go look after them, though. Uh, I don't for I'm not gonna worry about the coins. Forget the coins. Don't even need them. We got an extra peasant right there who's just walking around with no job. That's fine, because all of our jobs are filled right now. We ended up with a really, really well-organized map that's actually pretty easy to play around with. So I'm happy with how this has gone so far. I think the tower denial is really what's helping the most right here, though. Go ahead and throw in some more bows. I don't know if it's worth it for me to put any sort of, like, knights or whatever in. It may or may not be, I guess. Are you guys okay over here? It doesn't seem like there's very many archers on this side of the base. Huh. I'm trying to decide if I want to go with knights right now or not. Yeah, I think these are my cats that didn't quite make it into town. 
And in fact, this time around, they still might not make it into town. It's okay, though. I'll keep playing volleyball with them until they make it in. This is one of the things you have to play around when you got to go really, really long transit distances in order to get, or you got to get a lot of transit done in order to recruit people. It happens. It's not that big of a deal. We should probably chop back a little bit of forest over here, too, just to give us some better sunlight. Might mess with our enemies a little bit. But for right now, I think it's workable. I doubt those guys are going to make it back into town, so I'll try and pay them again tonight. I really feel like the archers are light on this wall. Oh, there they are. It's because they're patrolling. Okay. That's fine. All you top-knotted glorious bastards, get back over there and get ready for the fight of your life. It's the fight of your life! Um, I'll probably go for one night on the right-hand wall. I probably won't go for two for right now. Let's go check and make sure that none of my archers have gotten themselves in too much trouble on this side. Where'd you get all those coins from, man? Like, oh, you know, just robbing children. The standard. Just kind of hanging out, messing with people that look at me wrong, raising my eyebrows. I don't know if that makes it better by, like, ticks. Like, the higher the ticks, the more damage it does. But I've got so much money right now that I don't really need to worry about the definition of what it does. I more or less just need to mash coins into it until I get what I want. So the next big attack is what we're looking for. Like, the next really, really big attack. This doesn't even remotely qualify as a big attack. So once they come out with a big flooding attack from one side, that's when I'm going to go in right afterwards and try to get them with... You know, the knights and everything else. See if I can destroy that gate. And if we can successfully leapfrog it for once in our lives, I may have actually done progression in this game. Look at those coins stack up. My lord, that's a lot of coins. So there's our first knight. And you're going to notice that our archers are going to start being color-coded before we go too much further. I'll probably just go for one knight right now to eliminate the amount of archers that get wiped out when they head to that side. What happened over here? Oh, yeah, you were probably the guys that didn't make it into town. I'd be willing to bet on it. Are there any more of you out here? Or is that all of you? Because I need every single recruit at this point. I need the city to just be bustling with human. Like a big, bald mass of just man flesh, all like roped together with fluids and shit. I don't know. That's how I think of cities anyway. Cities are kind of raw. Since I was a kid, the city I've lived in has grown like ridiculously. Like everything's different now. I explained that my girlfriend never lived here, and she's never even actually been here until we moved here after college. And I was like, you can't even imagine. Like, this place used to be, like, three streets. Like, see, that's all it was. It was, like, three streets and then, like, suburbs surrounding that. And then over the years, it's just, like, sprawled. Everything has run into each other in the bay. Like, it's all basically one big city now. They put down individual signs that say you're in, like, X place or Y place, but it's all the same damn shit. I mean, just because there's, like, a three-acre lot separating two areas doesn't make them, like, distinct cities. They're close enough to where you can throw a rock and be in two different cities, so... They'll chop down those trees on that side. The point of chopping down the trees, as far as I can tell, the trees block sunlight, and trolls don't like sunlight. And so if the trolls have to walk a long ways, sometimes chopping down the trees will keep them from attacking you at all if you can plant it properly. The other strategy we might attempt on this side. So there's my knight. Where are my archers at? I'm not seeing a lot of you guys over here. I think they must have just gotten too close or something. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think they must be just like out there and fighting with trolls all day long or something. And unfortunately, that doesn't lead to, like, successful business transactions. I could, I could actually... Where are my archers at? Like, there they are. I was going to say, you guys should probably get on this wall, right? It's kind of scary out here. I threw a coin into the lake to make a wish. Here, I'm going to throw all these two. We need a lot of wishes. There we go. Lots and lots of wishes being made right now. If there was another wall over here, I would totally continue to expand. But there doesn't appear to be much wall out here. Go ahead and get him back real quick. 
I sort of wonder if we're bleeding archers over here because I'm not attacking. I think one knight should be able to handle it, but I'm terrified to kick off this combat like I really am. I'm pretty worried about it. I got a lot of people going back to resupply. I also wish that you could build copies of the different stores in different areas. Sort of make your life, I think, a little bit easier when it comes to redistribution of supplies and whatnot. There we go. Use up at least a little bit of that coin. We definitely don't need more farmer, so I'm not going to refill that right now. I think that was a mistake that I made the last time I played where I was refilling things that didn't need to be refilled. So are we getting hit over here? He asked. Actually sort of hoping that we would get hit over here. No, it doesn't look like we did. Well, I'm going to break the episode off right here. And then in the next episode, I think we're going to go after him. My name is Splattercat. This is Kingdom. I will see you all later. Hi, do everybody.